people that always has to like learn how to do something else. You know, I, I can't I can't stand being complacent. I, I go crazy. So. reflected in, in, in the songwriting and, and it's just my cathartic way of, of handling it. Right, <laughs> you know, right. I'd probably be a totally crazy nutty person if I didn't have the ability to go and get it out in that way. So, um, and you know, this, this new record that I'm doing right now, Soul Thing, is a perfect example of that. You know, I'm just, um, you know, I'm older now and it's weird, you know, people around me that are family members, friends, people start passing away. It's been, a, it's been a lot of issues that I had a really close friend of mine that was killed in a car accident. Um, you know, I lost my father, you know, uh, best friend's daughter passed away unexpectedly. And, it, and, it, and it's, um, you know, it was kind of like a weird wake-up call for me that, you know, we're not uh, invincible. When the calm comes crashing down I could tell that you had left And it's a shame what we've become When we have the ones we love And it's a place I cannot go anymore parents are very, they're funny because they don't, um, we don't, we, you know, growing up never really had really big deep conversations with them, but they, you know, like my father would just say something and it would be just so politically true and like heavy, you know, that I, I would spin on that for like a couple years and he probably didn't even realize it. To him it was just, you know, some off, off, you know, off remark that he had just made, but, um, you know, he's such an eloquent speaker. You know, and the way that he communicates and a really great writer, something that I wish that he'd always done. So, you know, I always kind of grew up in and around that and, and in, I think in, especially too, when I would, would write something and I would want to go show them, you know, I would want it to be able to, to be up to par, at least try to be up to par to, to the way that they would kind of communicate with me and show them that I'm, I'm not an idiot son. It's a long time to write, you know, and, and uh, it's been a challenge. Um, but I, I, I am really excited about it. It, it seemed like uh, for the first year or so, I had a really hard time coming up with songs that I felt were, you know, worthy of sharing with other people. And, and uh, um, I just kind of sucked, actually, <laughs> to be blunt about it. But yeah, and then, and then uh, you know, something happens. I think um, I did a lot, I, you know, moved across the country and and just a lot of life changes, tried some different things, you know. Um, I started doing some producing and stuff like that, and then it was like, okay. And then, but the, I'm always writing, I'm always trying to write, or I always sit, and it just starts to happen, and then eventually a bunch of really great songs started to come out of it. And advice I think would be to, to do what makes you happy you know don't try to do what you think is gonna sell records or you know or get the big studio to buy the script I mean I think you really it needs to come from the heart and and because uh, I've certainly made that mistake sometimes of getting caught up in what I think you know the label wants or what the, you know the current state of affairs really wants and that's you're always kind of chasing something and then and I think that that you're you know, your, your creativity is going to suffer. You're the only one. I'll show them to you 
angel see them shine Stay.